up, y'all? Welcome to NBA Today. It's the Chanae Show. We are back. What's up, y'all? This is your home for hoops, all hoops. Because if you got game, you got game, period. Now to Shanae for three. Clean look. Shanae underneath the layup. Good! Shanae gets the position and the bucket. Who would KB and one? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shanae Ogum McKay. You might have seen me on the court in the WNBA as a two-time WNBA All-Star, or maybe on your TV screens at ESPN as an NBA, WNBA, and women's college basketball host and analyst. I'm also proud to be a member of President Biden's inaugural White House Council on African Diaspora Engagement. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas, Nigerian-American. And one thing that I learned being a part of that first original team was the power of not being competitive, but being more so collaborative, particularly as women. And right now, there's a moment that is transcending sport, culture, even politics. It's putting women front and center, and I'm very passionate about that. Being Nigerian-American, being a daughter of the diaspora, a daughter of the soil, I've been able to see the power of sports and how it can transform lives. That is what motivates me. That representation has unlimited possibilities, and that's what drives me each and every day. It is so important right now, more than ever before, to invest in the continent. In 2050, one of four people on this earth will have African heritage. But the cool thing is it's not the typical doctor, lawyer, engineer that previous generations have preached as the ladders and the steps to success. It's the creative industries. It's the athletes. It's the chefs. It's the musicians. It's the tech entrepreneurs. Our greatest resource, our greatest superpower is the human resource. The talent there is off the charts. Investing in that talent can not only transform lives and transfer communities, it will transform economies as well. The reason we should focus on sport now more than ever before, especially on the continent, is because it's the greatest unifier. It brings us all together, not only in competition, but also in community with friends and family. But it's also a lot at stake, particularly in sport, when it comes to women and girls. Did you know that 95% of women in C-suite positions, CMOs, CEOs, COOs, played sport? It provides the confidence, the teamwork, the camaraderie, and also the discipline to be successful, not just on the court, in the pool, on the field, but most importantly, in life. My work centers on education. Education is so important, especially for young girls, because with every year they advance in school, did you know that they up and increase their earning potential by 10%? That is profound. And it also centers on empowerment, because did you also know that young women that are business owners and entrepreneurs, they invest 90% of their income and earning potential back into their family. So the more we empower and educate, you literally are ushering in a better world. The advice that I give to the rising generation of creatives that are going to literally take over this world is find your tribe. Find people that are on the same mission as you. Find people that believe in your dreams because I'm always taken back to the same saying. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. Find your team and believe in it, work hard at it, and I believe anything is possible.